All right, let me take you over to my first two failed attempts. Uh, Got to figure out what's going on here. So I'm spotting the hole, but I can tell whenever the drill is coming in that it's drilling on an angle a little bit. So I totally messed up this one. I uh, didn't have the depth set correctly. And so the hole wasn't even coming through all the way. So I thought I would cheat it a little bit and I dropped the Z some. And so that's why when the tool retracted, it just started dragging the drill bit across the top. Now here's my second attempt. And again, wasn't able to get the drill bit to go through, but the, the hole is just off a tiny bit. And I, I bet that has to do with the drill bit coming in on an angle, because I can see it flexing a tiny bit. Uh, here is my first good one, and this one, <laughs> I kind of cheated. I did the pocket first, and then rather than uh, drilling it, I just took a center punch and put it inside. Gave it a smack, took it over to the drill press, and finished it off. At least until I can figure out why the spotting and drilling after is uh, off a tiny bit. And with this particular uh, Precision Matthews, I got the feed rate really low, like super low. And I had to turn up the RPM where the motor was going to stall out. I think this motor just don't have a uh, good amount of torque to it. So, I don't know. Make chips. A little bit brighter chips. Uh, I can't complain. I went from those really black ones to uh, some nice silver ones. And this is not aluminum. This is mild steel. Uh, you see it coming off silver a little bit there. That's all I got for today. I'm getting tired. I, uh, Ended up messing up two of my cutout and machined jaws, so I'm gonna actually end up only having one set for one voice and not for the other. So uh, I'll do that for another day.